Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In this very short video, I want to talk about the improvements they've introduced into the latest version of Luminar 2018. They're now calling it Luminar 3. And from what I understand, Luminar 3 is a free upgrade to anyone that has purchased Luminar 2018. And this is a major upgrade because they've introduced the long-awaited digital asset management module. That is kind of like the library module in Lightroom. In the past with Luminar 2018, if we wanted to edit an image, we had to load an image one by one into Luminar 2018 to do our edits. Now, with the digital asset manager, everything is right there and we could organize our images by folder, um, we could organize our images by albums. We could star rate, color label, and uh, favorite images. And all the kind of typical things you might be used to doing in the library module of Lightroom, or at least most of those things you can now do in Luminar 3. Now, as you can see, I have Luminar 3 open and we're in the library module and if you look over here at the top right hand side you'll see library and then edit and if i click there this is where we would edit our image and this is pretty much luminar 2018 the edit function and then it has an info button here and it just gives you some info on the image but if we go back to the library module you'll notice now it's showing the single image view if i want to see the grid again i could hit the g key on my keyboard and we'll go to grid view and you'll notice that on the far right hand side are all our folders. And the way they have it set up, you do not have to install or import images into Luminar 3. When you start Luminar 3, you just tell it where your images are on your hard drive. And then it will set it, it will just uh, mirror the folder hierarchy that you're already using on your hard drive inside of Luminar 3. So very easy. Then once you're taking images and you have pictures on your memory card on your camera, you can import them into Luminar. And it's really unlike Lightroom in that um, Lightroom will never see an image unless you import it into Lightroom. With, excuse me, with Luminar, it's a little different. You don't really uh, need to import them and what the import uh, really does it just takes the images off your camera or camera's memory card and puts them on your computer in a folder that you choose so it's a little more I guess straightforward than something like Lightroom but again you get to do all those things to the image that you might be uh, used to doing with a digital asset manager uh, for photos where you could uh, rate the image up to five stars. You could give it a color label. You could favorite the image. You could put it into albums. You could rearrange your folders and different things like that. And across the top, you could see that there's some functionality here. Over here at the far left is to import the images off your memory card or camera. Then over here we have this little button here will show us the folder hierarchy. Right now I'm in this folder, June 15, 2013. That's in the Woodlawn Beach folder. And the Woodlawn Beach folder is inside the Lightroom Raw Files folder. And that's in the All Photos folder. So we have this hierarchy. And you could go back um, through this hierarchy by clicking this kind of back arrow right here. So every time I click that, I would go back through this hierarchy of folders. Uh, right here, we just uh, showing the side panel. Uh, the size of these previews when we're in grid view, you could do small, medium, large, largest. And you also could just click the plus and minus keys to resize them as well. Right now, we're showing all the photos. Uh, we could then sort them or show the photos that are maybe favorited or five star, four star, whatever, or have a specific color label. And they're sorted by capture time. You could also sort them by all these other different headings. So it's pretty straightforward digital asset manager module. It does all those type of things that you would expect a digital asset manager module to do. Now with that, when we go over to the edit 
part of Luminar 3, there are some slight differences. First of all, they don't call them presets anymore. They're called looks. And if you look down here at the bottom, if you click on that, you'll see it's called the Luminar Looks Collection. And you'll get a lot of different looks when you purchase Luminar. And also, you'll notice that I have my preset pack in there. Actually, I have it in there twice. I'm not sure why. But anyway, the, um, the presets, uh, if you have any presets that you've created with Luminar 2018 or that you purchased, like you purchased my preset pack from me, they work fine in Luminar 3. They're just in this looks collection. So basically, they changed the name from presets to looks. They really are the exact same thing and do the exact same thing. So those are the looks. Now over here on the left-hand side, because we now have that digital asset manager, we have that entire folder showing. So I could be in the edit module and go from image to image here if I wanted to. Um, we could get rid of all these panels down here, right here. We could just click right there and get rid of that bottom panel. We could click here and we have the film strip, which I could get rid of on the left, the side panel, which is we need really, but, uh, or the current photo actions, which is the star rating and the favoriting down here. We could get rid of that as well. So we could give kind of maximize our room. And then if we want to get rid of the looks, uh, film strip at the bottom, we click right there. Now we're going to need uh, probably that side panel, right? So all this functionality is in uh, Luminar 3. It really helps you um, find your images and, you know, edit them, compare them to other images and things like that. Now, as far as the filters, they're pretty much the same. They did some enhancements on some of them. They've improved them. Uh, most notably, they've... Uh, improve the accent I, AI filter. And if you click on that, that is the filter where it's just one slider and you could just slide it to the right and it really does a nice job of processing your image. You could see this image here. If I uh, do a before after, there's before and there's after, there's before, there's after. You could see that one filter did all that. And we could click here and we could get this sliding bar thing with a before after as well. So that Accent AI filter was in previous versions of Luminar, but they've actually improved it quite a bit for this version. The other filter, which was in, uh, introduced in a latter release of Luminar 2018, is the AI Sky Enhancer. And that will just find the sky in your image and enhance the sky. And to better demonstrate, why don't I bring the Accent AI filter down? quite a bit. And then if I go to the sky enhancer and just move that to the right, you can see how it knows where the sky is and enhances that. And it's really not touching anything else in the image. So for landscape shooters, between these two uh, filters, you probably could just process your image and be done with it. So there, it's really um, a very, very powerful application. And those of you know that I had a previous or actually two previous video series. One was called Mastering Luminar 2018, and the other one was called Luminar 2018 Tips and Tricks. Well, I'm going to be doing an entirely new video series. I haven't decided on the name for it yet, but it's going to be something along the lines of Mastering Luminar 3. And it's going to teach you Luminar 3 from the newbie stage, like you're really not familiar with the application at all, you've never seen it before, all the way through to an expert. So there'll be a number of videos. I would estimate probably between 15 and 20 videos, and I'll be teaching you everything you need to know on how to process your images with Luminar 3. And you could look for those videos probably within two weeks. I'll, I'll have the first one released. But look for my new video series very soon, and I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.